Welcome back to Carnades.org. In this video, I just wanted to do a quick little one on calendar logic. Cheryl's birthday and other puzzles. So if you haven't seen it, there's a puzzle floating around on the internet known as Cheryl's birthday puzzle. Let's check it out now. So, Albert and Bernard are trying to figure out Cheryl's birthday. She gives them the following list of possible dates. She then tells Albert the month and Bernard the day, but doesn't tell Albert the day or Bernard the month. So, here's the list of dates. Albert and Bernard then make the following statements. Albert says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not either. Setting aside skeptical concerns about knowledge, Bernard then says, At first, I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but I do now. And finally, Albert says, Then I also know when her birthday is. Assuming none of them are lying, when is her birthday? If you haven't seen this puzzle before, and you want to give it a try now, I'd highly suggest you do it. It's a great little logic puzzle to test your kind of logical abilities. But if you've already solved the puzzle, stay tuned because we have a harder one at the end. But first, I'm going to give a solution here. So, Albert says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not either. From the first statement, we know that Cheryl's birthday cannot be in May or June. Since if Bernard had either 19 or 18, he would know right away. So, Albert cannot have either May or June, because then Albert couldn't say that he is sure that Bernard does not know either, because if he had June, Bernard might have 18, and then Bernard would know. And if he had May, Bernard might have 19, and Bernard would know. So Albert has to have either July or August. So we can eliminate the top two months' dates. Then Bernard says, at first, I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but I do now. From the second statement, we can conclude that Bernard does not have a 14, because then he would not know if the date was July 14th or August 14th, because he knows now, now that we've eliminated May and June, he can't have a 14. He has to have a 15, a 16, or a 17. Finally, Albert says, then I also know when her birthday is. From the final statement, we can conclude that Cheryl's birthday is not in August, as then Albert wouldn't know if it was the 15th or the 17th. Therefore, it must be July 16th. So, because I know a lot of my viewers are pretty logical to begin with, if you weren't challenged by that one, try this one on for size. So, Yasin, Mohammed, and Dolores are trying to figure out Quinn's birthday. He gives them the following possible dates. He gives them two years, 1990, in which we have April 1st, April 10th, and so on, and 1991, where we have March 10th, March 29th, and so on. He tells Yasin the year, Mohammed the month, and Dolores the day. They then make the following statements. Yasin says, Mohammed does not know. Mohammed says, Dolores does not know. Mohammed then says, Dolores still does not know. Dolores says, now I know. The question for you is, when is Quinn's birthday? So, that's not the real challenge. The real challenge is to give that one a try and then go ahead and make your own calendar puzzles and post them as a video. They're pretty fun if you have a basic sense of logic and you like making these kind of puzzles. They're a good way to try that out. I'll feature any puzzle video that you make and actually as a solution, in a playlist following this video. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.